Here's a Jace and Niv Mizzet binder. It's been around the block. Here we go. Let's get into this. Let's see, is this where the thought seizes are? No. What in the world is going on here? Here we have more Ixalan Amiket era. Um, this, is, this is okay. So syncopate as a common is probably not much. Yeah, no, it's it's okay. Um, just gonna stack them over here. Kind of figure let me figure out my system here real quick. <clears throat> Disallow. It was weird that that page was all kind of folded up like that. And this was I don't remember seeing this. This page was not shown in the listing. So hopefully there's some pretty good stuff. So disallow is four ninety nine a piece. That's good. Like it. Pull from tomorrow. A couple of these. Three twenty. This is all hopefully going to add up very nicely. Sensor, uh, I believe, was played during standard. I don't know how much it gets used now. Uncommon 30 cents. It's okay. So, some of this stuff I may hang on to, uh, and like especially the Planeswalkers, I might make a nice Super Friends deck out of that. Rivers Rebuke. So, I think this gets used. Uh, a little bit. It's a buck. There you go. Jace's defeat. So I may not pull out every common or uncommon, but sometimes I gotta. I'm not sure what they're worth right now. Got Padim here. He says impress me. That's what I'm saying about this collection. I hope it impresses me. He's a buck forty-seven. So all this stuff is very trade worthy, but having having four of uh, Glimmer of Genius, I'll, I'll take a look at it. It costs a lot. No. Having a f like multiples, like, you know, play sets of this stuff seems like this is more of a collection um, that would be used. So search for Ascanta, definitely nice. Uh, but then we got more missing pages. So it's like. This was their blue stuff that they were reserving. I don't feel like I don't feel like this was picked. I feel like it was more like it was uh, not filled in yet completely. So we just got one search for Ascanta, the sunken rune on the back. So it's only six bucks. I think it was more when it was in standard. There we go. So Admiral's order. Two, three, four of those. Only forty-nine cents. Where's the big stuff? Oh no, I hope we don't have too many empty pages here. So here's some black. Um, kind of interesting stuff going on here. We got Our Glory. There's nothing big. Uh, Dead Eye Tracker. Yeah, I'm not sure what is worth much from Ixlan nowadays. That one apparently isn't. Cast down, and this is a promo version. A couple of those, that's nice. And it's so dark, like the scanner can't really pick it up. I will have to add that manually. Cast down, Friday Night Magic, yeah. Bing, it is a buck. A couple of those, that's nice. There's Gaunty again. I forget. I know we scanned him. Was he over a buck? No, he wasn't. That's right. He was reprinted. We got Bontu's Last Reckoning. A couple of those. We got two. Mm. Three of these. Okay, great. No. Oh, no. We're having problems here. Let's see. Bing, bing, three of those. Okay. Lost Legacy. I don't. I don't think this is over a buck. It's not. Yeah.
Knight of Malice, Dominaria. It's just an uncommon. It's probably not really worst game, but I did it anyway. And turn on that here. So this is interesting. This is all the way to M19. So someone had been playing for a while. Demon of Catastrophes. Um, store Championship uh, Edition. A play set of these. That's kind of cool. Uh, game day store championship 96 cents. It, it's a keeper Got four of those. They look they really look cool Yeah And we got Yehenny's Expertise Very cool uh, another game day promo Buck 49 three of these Essence extraction just one 45 cents. No. Never to return is probably not a whole lot. Yeah, it's been re reprinted now, I think, too. Uh, Eldest Reborn. Again, I'm not sure about all of the uncommons. Golden Demise. Not sure that that's much of anything, probably. Pink. Yep, that's not. Joseph Vess. That's a buck. One, two, three, four of those. Dread Shade. And a Doomfall, I'll check it. There we go. At least these pockets are easy enough to deal with. Some some binders are tough. And we come into the white section here. So we got Settle the Wreckage. That's probably gonna be a little bit. Yeah, three bucks. So that's gonna it's basically a commander staple now. Excellence binding. Not so much. Uncommon. Let's see what we got here. Fumigate. Shalai will be nice. I think I need a Shalai, actually. Fumigate. One, two, three, four, five. Actually got a playset plus here. That's okay, then. Caracal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. That's interesting. Uh, it's on the list. Interesting. This is the Arete. The original, and there's seven of them. Okay, okay. How many Shalai's are we gonna get? One, oh, there's a bunch of one, two, three, and four. Okay. Five thirty-five. So the fact that there was four, there was four of them here. Three of them were that this, and one of them is in a perfect fit. It almost tells me like this is a commander player that just wanted to have, you know, play sets and ready to do, you know, build decks with it. This one maybe he had a plan for it, but did not get put in yet. Who knows? It's just like this is definitely a collector would like to have fought four of everything at least. Angel of Invention is four bucks times four, so. That, that really helps out the total win. There's play sets of them. History of Benalia. Uh, just the one, it looks like. So the other ones had made it into decks, or he only had the one. Only a buck now. That's interesting. This was really big when it was in standard. Approach to the Second Sun. There's a buck. 39. Nope, it's not that one. It is this one. And is there two or more? There's three of them. There we go. Resplendent Angel. Another really good card here. There's four of those. Woohoo. That's a pretty good hit there for four of these. Excellent. Only a thousand dollars to go on our investment here. Sorry, gamble. You know it's not investing. Cleansing Nova is been reprinted. 
And this is the M19. It is actually a buck. There's two of them. Forsake the worldly. There's... Oh, oh, hold on. There was a secret one behind there. There's two cleansing novas behind this Forsake the worldly. So now I have to check behind some of these other ones here and make sure that that I didn't get uh, shorted. So I'll put a couple of those on. Interesting. What's behind these? They're all pretty much the same, so that, that might just be a fluke. So that was white. Here we're into green. We got a Ronus. All right, so. 65. The Rampager. Nope. Daylight Ranger, only 89 cents. It comes off, but those are good. I'll keep them, you know, or I'll do something with it. Okay, Ronus the Indomitable. We got just one in there, so there's three of these. It's 10 bucks each. Steel Leaf Champion. We got the Store Championship version. That looks nice. Um, I always thought this would be a bigger card than it really ended up being, but it's still pretty nice. So, instant Pioneer collection for me here. I definitely put some decks together here. Our Promise. Hopefully the big gods are in this, like this uh, Locust God. Our Promise. Buck 35 times 4 of those. Naturalize, nope, that's what it is. Rishkar. It's a buck. Oh, that's a jump start. Here we go. Aether Revolt. It's a dollar. There's four of them. We're on our way. This one's really nice. We got Championship Galta, Primal Hunger. Four of these, nice foils. They're seven eighty five a piece. Look at his tiny little arms there. And then, this is really nice too. Oh my gosh, here we go. Carney T, the big uh, implacable death lizard himself, is 871. Quattro, very nice. All right, so. We're getting there. We still haven't seen the Thought Seizes yet. I think they must be in the other binder. So, starting to feel decent about this at least. Might be able to break even here. So, fun times. I'm just going to keep this up. Uh, Servant of the Condo is an uncommon. We got Verterous, Verterous Gear Hulk. Um, so, the Gear Hulks, I think the, um, the Cataclysmic Gear Hulk is the good one, right? Because this one has been reprinted, and well, I think the other ones have too. It's 99 cents, though. Seems like it would be a lot more, right? It's a pretty good card. Thorn Lieutenant. $0.49. Cents. The Cub. Um... See the little play in historic, but that's not going to do much here. Gigantosaurus. This is a big dumb 10 10 for five green. It's actually over a buck. That's decent. Got four of those. And the Brontodon. Not going to be much. Uh, let's see the Branch Walker. Oh, this one's got a stamp on it for being in a tournament, I think. Yeah, this one's you're not really anything. Take that one off. The Kenra. Nope. Blossoming Defense. I mean, this goes in the Infect deck. It's 50 cents. It's pretty good for an uncommon. Got some Foil Elves. There's nothing too... Crazy. We got Ripjaw Raptors. 
Um, this is a good dinosaur tribal card right there. Yep. It's the Ixalan version worth a couple bucks. Four of those. All right. Okay. Is that the end of the green? All right. Here's the red. Okay. One second. I need a drink. Mm. Okay. Finagle Firebrand. It's a common. It's not much, but I know it's seen some play. Hour of Devastation. Number there's two of them. And they are 92 cents. Just enough. Just enough. Friday Night Magic Magma Spray. That's cool. That, um, oh gosh. Who is that? Forget his name. Just a 80 cent promo. That's good though. Sweltering Suns. Bink, we found this one before. I think it seems to be over 90 cents. There's four of them. Karzev's Expertise. 55 cents. Glorybringer Game Day Promo. Is pretty good. Two of those. And P and the R. Nope. Uh, Siege Gang. So we got some goblins here. Some of the goblins are good. Some of them are not worth a whole lot. We got four of these. Karzev. Only 49 cents, so no one's building around her apparently. Demanding dragon. Nope. A braid has been reprinted now. Let's see if it's over 90 cents. Nope, only 77, but it, they're keepable. And the trash master. Actually, a couple bucks each, so there's four of those. Decent. And fight with fire. What else we got here? Artifacts. Interesting. I get a Sky Sovereign. Silent Gravestone. Rivals. 50 cents. Cool art. I like that. Like, uh, pirate themed stuff. Sky Sovereign, there's four of these. Treasure map flips over to Treasure Cove. It's actually seven bucks, so making treasures is a good uh, good um, strategy, right? Bowmat Courier, 50 cents. Crester's Bestiary. Commander. Meet the Revolt. Four of those. There we go. God Pharaoh's Gift. Not quite. Gate to the Afterlife. Not quite. Got one. Walking Ballista. 16 bucks, so still uh, very useful. Harvester. And play a set of Heart of Kirans. Or just a buck each. Alright, what's next? Hey, more Planeswalkers, decent. The M19 Planeswalkers here, and the, well, there's Kalidus Nissa Vital Force. Did we already find one of those? No, we got Play Set of Nissa. I'm rolling in Planeswalkers now, that's kind of nice. Very good. Got Play Set of a Johnny. Very 
very good. Vivian Reed. Eight bucks each. Great. I love Planeswalkers. They're pretty nice. We only get one Nickel Bolas, though. The Arisen. The Ravager. Uh, let's see. I think the Ravager's the front, right? 29, 28. So far, the big winner out of this uh, set here. I, I, I know. I should have been putting these in sleeves this whole time. So, I'll do that now. I'm going to take them out of the, the binder. They should probably be protected somehow. There we go. Great. Tezzeret, Artifice Master. Uh, there's four of those. And eight bucks each. Great. Just one Vraska. Three something. Got an Angrath. That's good. Liliana, Untouched by Death, two of those. 11 bucks each, great. Hey, we are actually almost there. What else we got in here? Ah, a few more, a few more Planeswalkers. So Death Majesty, I think is from the, uh, the Planeswalker deck. And it's still, uh, it's halfway decent right there. Gideon of the Trials. Uh, let's see, there's more than one in here, hold on. Is that two? Oh no, okay, they're individually perfect sleeve. There's three now. Three of those. Got Huatli. Oops. Four Huatlis. Jay's Cunning Castaway. Couple bucks. And this is decent. Chandra Torch of Defiance, just one of them now. Eight bucks, okay. Alright, anything else in this? It looks like, yeah, there's some more. There we go. Alright, some good M19 stuff here. Plady of Moors, got a place of those. Chromium's good. Just one Chromium. It's only a buck though, huh? Unlicensed Disintegration for that Magic. And they're not a whole lot. Wine Constrictor. So that definitely saw play when it was in standard. And it's still decent, but not... Uh, not gonna go on the list, one. Hostage Taker. We had a couple of these that are the pre-release versions. And they are really 15 bucks, huh? See that? 15 bucks. The the original Ixalan is eight. The pre-release card is 15, so that's great. We got two of these. We will. Oh, there's more than two. Hold on. There we go. We got three of these then. Great. Uh, I played against this card and I don't like it. This one's still sealed in the original package, so that's cool. I'll put the rest of these in a sleeve as well. So it turned out to be a pretty decent batch of cards here. Cut two ribbons. And on the list. 58 cents. The list is more than the original. I don't get that. And the Virtuoso. And here's some more lands. Decent stuff look, looks like here. You got Field of Ruin. Come on. Excellent. 75 cents. 
Isolated Chapel. So the other binder was by color, I guess, because it has kind of the same stuff here, but just different versions of it was Glacial Fortress, then this is Isolated Chapel. I don't know what the rhyme or reason was. Here's the Sulphur Falls. That's good. Tentacle Sanctum, got four of those. Very nice. Hinterland Harbor for those. Excellent. Love finding some bloody lands or any kind of dual color land. Deflection, detection tower. There's actually a buck. Three of those. It's canal. How many canals did we end up with here? We got a place set of spire bluff canal. 1975. Wow, very nice. I will take four of those. Let's get back. Aether Hub. It's a good card, but it's probably under 90 cents. Yeah. Even though that's a different version. Kaladesh, no. We're going to take it off. Cliff Top Retreat. Oh my gosh. Okay, come on. Four. The river is an uncommon cabal stronghold. Five bucks each. Very nice. The land section has been treating us nicely out of both binders here. Inspiring Vantage. That's good too. And then here's the Friday Night Magic Aether Hub. Will it be a little bit higher than the other one? It's good, but it's not going to be on there. All right, what else we got? More land. We got some uncommon. Here's a Sulphur Falls Innistrad version. Two of those. Uh, Shelter Thicket, probably nothing big. Oh, did we already find these? They were... Seem like they're about three bucks each, so... We'll take those. Some Petal Grove. Four of those. Arch of Arazka. Oh, yeah, I can't get into her. Four of these. Buck 85. Promo pack? Nope, it's just a regular. They're a dollar. And this is a rootbound crag, but it's uh, not in my language. It must be Japanese, Korean, I'm not sure. It's four bucks each. I'm going to count it. Here's a. Here's one I can read. The dinosaur in the back. We got four of these. Keep hitting that button there. Balmy Wilds, Chefnet Dunes. Hold on, these are. Wait a second, what the heck is that? Why does that have a, a sticker on it? Why does it have a hollow sticker? Evolving Wilds, Tarkir Dragon. Fury by Noah Bradley, which uh, I guess I've never seen this. Does this make it more rare since it has a sticker? Dragon Fury promos is 25 cents, but it's interesting that it has the sticker on it. I never realized it did that. Comes off. And more lands. Great. We've got, here we got some foils. Foil inspiring vantages. Just one of them. Hold on. One. Two, three regular ones of those. Now I gotta do, uh, I gotta set this up as a foil. What's a foil we go for? 16 bucks for the foil inspiring vantage. That's nice. I don't want it to get scuffed, so I will put it in. Peace leave. Let's turn out really nice. I'm actually almost there. 
Got Woodland Cemetery. There are a couple of those. Hey, and they are not foils. I don't have any more foils coming up, looks like. Normal. Okay. Get out of there. Two Dominaria Woodland Cemeteries. Six bucks each. Concealed Courtyard times four. There we go. And another canal. So, actually, two more canals. Very, very nice. They were almost 20 bucks. That's great. And more concealed courtyards. So, it looks like we're going to get there. One, two, three, four. Concealed courtyards pushes us right over the edge to be breaking even. This is amazing. So,. Very, very cool to see that there was some pretty good value in these. And we still got one more binder to go. I believe that's the one with the thought seizes. So, very exciting. We got a drowned catacomb. $6.99. Trying to get way over the top here. Scattered groves. Cycling land. Four of those. Uh, let's see. We get these scavenger grounds first. 99 cents for the reprint. Our devastation of buck 42. They left us plenty of meat here, which is uh, pretty nice. This one's like stuck in the side there. There we go. Fetid pools. It's four bucks. All right, last page. Well, no, nope, there's one more page that has nothing in it. So that was it for this binder. Wow. Well, we made it. We made it, and we still got more to go. So. Let's get on with it.